Hey everyone, my name is Radha Lat Gupta and I am here with Sports Khabri to give you the latest on the IWL or the Indian Women's League if you are not familiar with the name. This is the top flight women's football competition happening in India and it's currently taking place in Ahmedabad, Gujarat and I am here in Ahmedabad in person to watch and cover these matches. Just yesterday were the two semi-finals of this event between Setu and Kickstart, the first semi-final and Gokulam versus Eastern Sporting Union that was played under lights at night. I'm going to give you a quick roundup of both these matches, who's made it to the finals and what the final looks like. Let's get started. The first semi-final between Karnataka team Kickstart FC and Tamil Nadu based side Setu Madurai FC was won under the hot hot evening sun. As it got started, Kickstart FC made it to this semi-final through a stoppage time winner in their quarters, whereas Setu FC scored 9 and conceded 0. And that was their momentum that they were carrying into the semi-final. However, in the first half, it was Kickstart FC that scored 2 over Setu to really assert dominance. One coming in the 11th minute via Kyoko Elizabeth and the second coming in the 45 plus 3 or some sort of stoppage time minute, a long range rocket by Saru Limbu, the Nepal national. In fact, she scored the goal against her Nepal compatriot in goal on the other end, Angela Subo, also the captain of Setu FC. The teams walked into the dressing rooms with a 2 0 advantage for kickstart at halftime, and when they came out, Setu looked a better side. They really looked much more regrouped. In fact, they hit the post and they hit the crossbar, but just nothing would work for them, and they ended exhausted and they ended on the losing side. Just as the final time whistle blew, Kickstart FC celebrated their first ever finals appearance in the IWL, sending Setu FC home. The second semi final with 8 30 pm kickoff under the floodlights was between Gokulam Kerala FC and Eastern Sporting Union. Now, both these teams are actually also previous champions of the IWL. So we were thinking it's going to be a close encounter. If you've seen the scorecard, maybe you have, it was all over Twitter yesterday. Gokulam ended with a win scoring five goals and conceding just one. The game started out quite even as you know most of us had expected it to be but out of nowhere Eastern Sporting Union scored a long range goal right in the top corner, top right corner in fact, catching Gokulam goalkeeper Beatrice off her line. With Eastern leading, it was really time for Gokulam to change gears. You know how it is in football, it's just one moment of brilliance or one thing that goes your way that changes momentum and momentum comes in your favour. Samba or Sabitra Bhandari, Gokulam's forward was fouled inside the D. Was it a penalty? Was it not? That's up for debate. But Gokulam converted the penalty, it became one all at first. But Gokulam converted the penalty, it became one all in the first half and then Gokulam just ran riot. Samba did what Samba has been doing this entire tournament. She scored two goals, she also assisted a bunch more. And right at the end of the match, Indumati had two goals, Samba had two, Vivian had one and Eastern Sporting Union had just one consolation banger of a goal. Didn't mean much. Gokulam sailed into the finals. Now, a quick note that during both these semi-finals, a player was actually stretchered off and not due to any collision or any injury, but it does look like it was just exhaustion, fatigue, maybe the heat or just the playing conditions or the fact that maybe they didn't eat well that day, but it was really not the most pleasing sight to see and I'm hoping that the players are all right and that we don't see anything similar in the finals. A quick preview of the final that takes place on 21st May around 6 or 6.30 p.m. kickoff is what I understand. It's going to be between Gokulam Kerala FC, two-time IWL champions and the Karnataka team Kickstart FC who are seeing an IWL final for the very first time. I don't know about you, but I am getting David versus Goliath vibes and I'm super, super excited. I will be there in person in the stadium to, of course, watch and cover the game. And I'll be back again once the final is done to give you all the details on that match. Until then, make sure you subscribe to Sports Khabri and follow Sports Khabri on all their social channels. Thank you.